Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello and welcome to The One Who Seeks. Where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? All right. I did spray the protection spray. I'm gonna try to get a little quickie in here because it's been a few days. The last one was the karma reading and uh, I've been out and about talking to the art community here in Paradise and um, feeling inspired and I have a little bit of time before my husband comes home so I can get a little reading in here. Um, all right, let's do this then. Oh man, I get stuck here. Okay. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call in angels of loving energy Michael, Gabriel, protect us, give us messages for our best good and for the good of others. Only good intentions here. All other entities, I thank you for your service and I ask you to leave. This is the collective reading. Hey, wow. Okay, it's a lot. It's a lot more than I bargained for. That one wanted to jump out. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. I have my cactus blossom candle burning here. I bought in paradise. She makes it in paradise. Eastern sequoia, hand poured. It smells delicious. Okay, so let's just put these to the side right now. Let's figure out what's going on here. Okay, we have bouquet compliments from an admirer. Maybe you have a secret admirer. Maybe it's a significant other. We have candle. You will be shown the way, which is funny because I just mentioned the candle I just bought. Help show us the way. Looks so pretty. Frying pan. Trouble. Accusations. Ooh. Ram. A stubborn, aggressive person. Okay. You're dealing with somebody who's very stubborn. All right, I feel like these, the frying pan and the ram, which kind of rhyme, definitely go together, right? Because this was like a totally different energy over here. Or I feel like you have a secret admirer, but then you have this aggressive person here with some trouble. Maybe uh, someone is jealous that you have the secret admirer over here. See, heart, <laughs> love, deep affection, and caring. Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Maybe that's 
your secret admirer or that's your significant other who is jealous. Success. Just sparkles. And October. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do a two card spread here with our tarot. We can find out a little more about what's going on here. Um, whoa, too many. Okay, I feel like that one there and that one there. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. This is about nesting, uh, your homestead, healing, foundation, your mind. You're a little beat up here. There's some, um, we have a rune on here. I have to look that up, see what that rune is. Let's see if I can find it. Mm, I don't see one that looks exactly like that. This one's like kind of a half of that. It says estate, All right? Talking about your home, heritage. Something about your heritage, right? Where you came from how you grew up, what your culture, what you were taught. And it's like almost doubled here, but we don't have this here. So I'm looking at this rune here on her arm, a little tattoo. Anybody knows what that is? Leave it in the comments. Cause I don't have an exact match here on my rune symbols. Um, See if I can find it in this book. Here we go. So this is it right here. Ingwax. Ingwax. Okay, 19. So 19 is a 10, which is endings and new beginnings. strength, plenty, security, unity, brings calm, serenity, and human warmth. Okay, because when you go home and you you have your, your home, your heart is where your home is. Your home is where your heart is. Right, is what they say. And here we have a little heart and it looks like it's being kind of woven. So, um, you have these branches that are sticking out and it reminds me of, um, knitting. This is knitting. Yeah, and then we have a couple here. And it looks like we even have some little pearls on the string here. So you're trying to knit something beautiful after all of this turmoil where you look really dirty but you look content too. I mean, like the look on your face here, you look very content. But you're kind of beat up, right? So I feel like that's kind of this trouble and the accusations that are coming towards you with this stubborn, aggressive person is what's got you all beat up but you're still making the best out of it. You're still making a home. You're having success with this. You know, in October, this kind of even looks kind of like um, wintry to me, like, or even fall, which is weird because I, most birds make their nest in the spring, right? So, 
uh, they can have their babies um, lay their eggs in their nest. But this has a feeling of kind of winter or fall to me to where you just want to cuddle up in bed and stay home and not really go outside. Uh, you're nice and warm and cozy here. It's almost like she's daydreaming about whoever this person is, right? Who's giving you a bouquet with compliments from an admirer. And then you have a candle, which reminds me of like candle at dinners, romantic. And then you have your deep uh, affection, love and caring over here. Right, and I feel like your heart's kind of torn between either two different people, or maybe this is two aspects of one person. Right, and it's this fair man here. Not sure what this success October is. Um, maybe you are building a home and you're gonna have success in October. Like that's coming to fruition there. All right, and this is bringing you calm, serenity with human warmth, right? That's her like own body heat, keeping her warm in there with these branches kind of insulating. But you definitely, it looks like you're dreaming and they're like good heartwarming dreams, like you're totally all bruised up here. You've gone through some shit. Maybe it was all this hard work that got you all bruised up. Collecting your branches and your sticks and everything that you need to build this home. This sanctuary. This could even just be like your bed. You're nesting. That's where you nest is where you sleep. And you are alone here, so maybe you kicked the stubborn, aggressive person out. And so you've got your heart back and you're feeling good, even though I, they, they bruised you up, but they're gone now. So you're weaving this new life. Ooh, the devil. Holy cow. Okay. So we got a little a puppet on strings here. And this guy is hot. The devil is hot. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's hot. Uh, can't deny it, right? So he's very enticing the way he looks at you with his body. He's trying to control you. And maybe you just felt like this puppet on strings. This is 15, so it's a six. That's about harmony and having harmony. So in order to gain your harmony back, you need to get off of these strings here because look, you're stuck in your head. Like, oh, I just can't do this anymore. Make it stop. Just the agony. You have to release yourself from that. And this person is doing this to you. You need to romance yourself, I think. This could be about your self-love, buying yourself flowers. That song comes to mind. I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself for hours. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'm not the best singer, but I thought that was pretty good. So, um, there's definitely some sort of a releasing that's going on here. And we see these little specks over here. Um, and then we have these specs here, right? You're getting them in order. You're gaining, there's a couple white specs up in here. So somehow you're picking out just those specs, those aspects of this person 
and making it into something beautiful. Maybe those are the lessons learned from this person. some tattoos here I can't really tell what they are it looks like a chain there chain link all right gonna break that chain I don't know what this symbol is because this is not like the elements in spirit um, this is almost like two Star Trek symbols <laughs> one upside down and one right side up, kind of overlapping each other. Okay, I think by October, you are gonna be broken free from this. not going to be um, persuaded by shiny, sparkly, good-looking things anymore. Because it, it looks very sparkly and shiny and sexy and very hypnotizing. If you look into his eyes, it's very hypnotizing. He's a little scruffy, too, which is funny because he's not, like, clean-cut. Got a little scruff to him. Like five o'clock shadow. Let me show you the whole card. All right. Well, I hope that resonated with you. Um, if it did, please like, share, subscribe. Help my channel, help me out. Support me. And um, I think I'm gonna do an extended and get a little more details here. All right, so thank you for being here with me at One Who Seeks and I will see you at the extended. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.